Okay, so I am back. I figured something out that was perfect for my life. It might apply to you, but for me, it is absolutely perfect and it basically gave me an epiphany. When you want to sleep, you're not so much tired, you're just bored. Okay, let me elaborate on this for a second. When I come home from school, literally the last thing I want to do is work on more schoolwork. I just spent six hours in school. The last thing I want to do is open up, like, say, a statistics book, read like 30 pages of it, and then take notes on it. There's no fun in that at all. Okay. Or econ. Econ is the same way. There's film clap. Okay, well, film's a little bit different. But you understand the issue here. I don't want to do schoolwork when I come home from school. The only thing I want to do when I come home is I want to eat, sleep, or play video games, okay? I do not want to do schoolwork. And as you can see, I've got plenty of distractions. Plenty of distractions. Plenty of distractions at my disposal. And I don't want to do schoolwork. And I don't think normal people do. I think the people that do do schoolwork when they come home, they are motivated to, or it's like the beginning of the school year, so they're really, really hyped up, they want to get everything done. Or they have something due like tomorrow and they know it's gonna take them the whole day to do. I swear to God, my parents walk around the house as if they have brick sandals. So now that I've figured out this epiphany, how am I going to fix it? I'm gonna show you how. I'm doing it as we speak. You see, me making videos again, videos take up a very large chunk of my time. In fact, they take up if I think of all production times and everything like that, making videos probably takes almost as much time as me doing homework. So what better way to completely sabotage my sleep schedule and only get, let me get a certain amount of sleep every night and do something productive and get my homework done than make YouTube videos again. And this time it's different because instead of me making YouTube videos during the day or making gaming videos, which I absolutely despise doing now, now I get to do something that I actually enjoy, which is ranting in front of a camera and showing you guys how to do things or fixing this room when I have time. Which brings me to another thing on what I'm going to be doing now for this room. Um, the next part of this is going to be how to install a very large kill switch. I need to make some kind of kill switch in order to kill all the power in this room. Um, not so much like the lights up there and whatnot, but something that can kill all of my computer stuff because if there's a thunderstorm and it wipes out everything in here, my life is over. I got way better things to do than back up my stuff, okay? That just takes way too much time and I don't have time for it. Speaking of things I don't have time for, I really, really need to start selling some stuff on eBay. I got like all this shit right here. Yeah, wait, for, hold on a second. I got this nonsense that I bought. I don't know why the fuck I bought this thing. I bought it when I, like three years ago. Don't know why I bought it and I have the original box. I have the original MIDI controller. And most likely, I can probably make about like 20 bucks off of it or something. It's not worth anything anymore. There's also this, which is an HD PVR 2 gaming edition, I think. I'm not sure. It's a piece of garbage. Okay, there are so many more of, you know, like capture cards for PS3s and whatnot. Yeah, like this is when capture cards were still like, you know, like kind of not a new technology, but it was, it was like a big deal and a lot of people had to pay for it. So this was high end at a time, but it's a piece of junk now because you can buy these things for like 80 bucks completely together and I only have like the actual box. I don't know where the rest of it went. This is an original HD PVR. The first one I bought, I actually have everything for it, I think except for the component cable that's on the side right here because it went bad. Um, I maybe can get 50 bucks for it. I have everything. This is an extremely cheap and really horrible Steadicam for a very small DSLR or um, camcorder. I bought it because I had no money. What shit. I bought it because I had absolutely no money and it worked for the purposes that I used it for and I got my money's worth. Now I need to figure out a way to unload this thing. This is a camera bag, very cool camera bag. You see, you open it from the bottom like so, you go like this and you can put your camera stuff in it. The problem, the problem is when you have too much camera junk and you can't fit it in there anymore. Now I have like an Amazon bag that I bought for like 20 bucks off of, well, Amazon. Really, really nice bag. Looks, I wouldn't say looks better than that one, but it functions way better than it. It opens the way I want it to. It opens like a, like a clamshell, it opens like this. Very, very nice, very easy to use, very easy to put things in and out of. The zippers are nice. That thing is annoying. It's a piece of shit and maybe I can get 20 bucks for it. And then I've got like a couple like RC things. I used to dabble in like the hobby grade RC stuff. If you guys don't know what that is, Look it up, it's like really nice RC stuff. 
I've got some transmitters and stuff that I probably could unload for maybe like thirty or forty dollars a pop. Um, I really need to get rid of them. And my dad needs to shut up. I really wish I had like a NOS energy drink right now. I don't want to drink another one because I've had like four in the past like twenty four hours. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I've ranted long enough. I don't I don't really know what else I'm going to talk about. Besides, I mean, yes, I do. But if I talk about it anymore, I might as well not make the next video. So I'll see you guys later. That's it.